Hi guys, my name is Steven and welcome to my channel Fragrance with Steve. Uh, today we're going to look at five fragrances in the niche side of fragrances that are uh, a little bit more unique and different to the uh, designer fragrances but still very versatile, very wearable, very uh, mass appealing. Most people will uh, generally appreciate these fragrances on your skin. Uh, so basically, uh, excellent fragrances to start out collecting if you're new to niche fragrances and you want to build a solid, small collection that will serve you well uh, throughout the different seasons. Very wearable, very accessible and uh, highly complimented. So guys, uh, stick with me here. I have a few fragrances that are probably uh, fairly uh, well known and I have a few that are a little bit more under the radar. And let me start out with one of those for the first uh, choice in this list. This one is by Sospiro Perfumes uh, from the same creator who brought us the house of Sergeov and also Kemi. Uh, this one is called Accento and Accento is actually a very fresh but also floral, floral musky fragrance and it has a similar note um, well, it actually has the same note that is used in Creed's Aventus, uh, namely pineapple, but it also combines, like I said, a floral musky undertone. Overall, a very sweet, but extremely fresh, fresh, sweet fragrance that is uh, very well was received with everyone that is surrounding me when I wear this fragrance. I get a lot of compliments with this. It just performs insanely good as well so uh the higher price tag that you pay for this gorgeous presentation is actually kind of worth it um it uh the performance is great the smell is kind of unique i have uh, nothing similar to this in my collection even though it shares the note of pineapple with uh, creed aventus due to the, the other ingredients mixed in here is definitely a very unique fragrance and one to check out if you haven't heard from it so um if you can get a sample, but like I mentioned, it's very, it's very accessible fragrance. And um, even though it, it has some uniqueness to it, a lot of people will uh, love this one on your skin. So for my first choice in this list, Accento. The second one is uh, well received in the general public. Once again, this one is by the house of Parfums de Marly. Um, what else could it be? Leighton. I have the exclusive of this one as well. And although for some occasions I enjoy the exclusive a little bit more, generally speaking, this one gets the most use. And that's because it has more of a uh, an accessible uh, feel to it. You can wear this one whenever, wherever. The only exception would be like a very hot and steamy, sweaty summer day uh, in the, you know, baking sun outside where uh, you just want something a little bit more fresh. It has a lot of sweetness in here. There's that beautiful vanilla undertone, but there's also the green apple, the cardamom, the lavender. You know, a lot of people talk about this as one of the you know best entry-level niche fragrances, but I think it deserves uh, that reputation and um, it's not overhyped at all. I've done a review on this after I've had it in my collection for a couple of months. I mean, I, I've used this so much it just it's worth the money in my opinion um it, it's a very unique fragrance it has a little bit of designer fragrances in there it has notes that are make that will make you think about boss bottled and yes it has the cardamom which will, you will find in la nuit de l'homme by yves saint laurent but overall it has like a little bit of everything and the smell is extremely natural overall it's long lasting on my skin it's worth it so check it out if you haven't by uh, Parfums de Marly Leighton. Next is by Le Labo and uh, this one is probably you know the freshest maybe not the freshest but one of the freshest in this list it has a little bit of, of sweetness in the dry down also from uh, vanilla and amber but in the opening and the mid of this fragrance it's it's very very fresh it's a beautiful summer fragrance Bergamo 22 by Le Labo um, quite expensive but very natural once again a fragrance that will uh, smell great from top to bottom longevity is great although not as potent as the other two I just mentioned it lasts me like a solid six to eight hours so it's it's great for work days and all of that um, 
or going for a dinner, going for a small date, that's just fine. And, you know, very versatile, once again, you have that little bit of sweetness in the dry down, which makes it a little bit warming up. Um, it, 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 it blends in with my skin very well after a couple of hours. I tend to enjoy this one a lot in the, the, the warmer weather. Uh, so I'm looking forward to use it more and more as we move on into spring of 2019. Um, I, have, I haven't had much of a chance with this fragrance. As you can see, I got this in December last year. But I'm, I'm really looking forward to use this more. So my third choice in this list, number four, is by Roja Dove Parfums. And this one is Elysium. So Elysium, once again, is very accessible, very wearable fragrance. It has that beautiful tangy um, grapefruit in the opening. There's the bergamot again, uh, a very, a very uh, pleasant, zesty, energizing opening that will l transition into a woody, aromatic dry down. And it has all of the elements that a classic masculine fragrance, as we grew to know it in Western perfumery, has. So it has that beautiful, refreshing vibe to it. Uh, with a with a woody undertone and high quality throughout it's not the most strongest fragrance in this list although i don't have you know longevity issues with this one especially if you spray a little bit on clothes it will last you the entire day uh projects really well for the first hours but then it, it calms down this is a parfum cologne uh, so it's an, an it's a concentration somewhere between between an eau de toilette and an uh, and an eau de parfum. If I get it right, I, I believe it's a little bit in between those two. Um, it, it's a great it's a great alternative to uh, a, a lot of the other fresh uh, scents in here. It's all well, it's to the pricier side, but if you aren't familiar with this one, you know it's one to check out for sure. So that's the fourth choice in in this list. And then how could I end uh, this list without showing you Creed Aventus, obviously. I mean, there's too much craziness about this scent in terms of batch numbers and whatnot. I've done a video on the topic of batch variations with Creed Aventus, so I'll put a link in the corner if you're interested. All in all, if you're looking for a, a masculine statement-making scent that has a lot of freshness, but yet it has sorry a woody uh birchy uh a little bit smoky under undertone in the in the dry down especially look no further this is just one of my favorite scents of all time and i don't have longevity issues with any of the batches i've tried so far so don't worry just uh, try it out if you like it buy a bottle that's the end of it pineapple birch jasmine green apple black currant it's beautiful it's really beautiful, just as any of the, these uh, scents in this list, really uh, very accessible, very wearable. I keep repeating this, but uh, it's true. So, guys, let me know for those of you who are actually a little bit further into this hobby, what are your most accessible, wearable scents out there? Um, I would like to hear, I hope those of you who are new to the fragrance game enjoyed uh, this list. If you have any questions, once again, Put them down in the comment section down below and if you haven't subscribed to the channel don't forget to do so and please push that like button to give me a little bit of support here thank you guys once again for watching and i hope to see you soon in my next video take care